Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and this one is on uh, Surge and Dragon Bolt of Brain Attack Wave 2 from Summer 2013, of course. <coughs> so on the front of the bags here, you have Lego logo, Hero Factory logos, and but it's like vertical, of course, and also uh, what is supposed to have the Brain Bug and Brain Attack logos, unless if you cut it open, of course, but yeah. And also pictures of the sets that come within, and of course the name down below, and also saying 600 game points for the online game, and also times one Brain Bug included, and also saying Glow in the Dark, of course. And also again, the age group, is that number, amount of pieces. And on the back of each one, as you can see, uh, well, for surges of which, <coughs> is just another position of him and the features they can do, and the combination model that they make. But on Dragon Bolts of which, doesn't show that, probably because it would take too much room or whatever. And then how to use the uh, Hero Cores code for the online app games and actual size of the helmets and masks, of course, of which, and yeah. And of course, Dragon Ball, only other one in 2013 to use this size of bag, unlike the same with Inferno XL, and that carried on into two sets of Invasion from Below the following year, of course. And on to the manuals, as you can see, same pictures as on, on the, front of the, the front of the bags and everything. Surges of which <coughs> you can see extended version of the Brain Attack comic, of course, on the back. How to win on the online survey, and out of the combination model that they make. Then <coughs> 600 game points from the online game and app games, of course. Yeah. Out of the Brain Attack app, Brainify app, and the pieces that come with the set, of course. So then the last steps. <coughs> Add like a club, Brainify app. A thousand points for the online game. And then pieces included in the last steps. <coughs> so first up is Mark Surge, or otherwise our uh, fourth version of Surge, which as seen, he has changed quite a bit from the last couple of versions. And of course, the, he wished now medium sized versions when where the others were more small sized, of course. So nice to see it for this wave, of course. And as for the legs of which, which do you have the feet in silver and upper arm armor pieces in silver, of course. And then size 5 armor pieces, just like what Surge 2.0 also had. And also, just like, uh, and also, same uh, uh, chest plate piece like all the other hero sets also had, but the Exo Force arms as the Dural Lock clamps, but just in blue. And also the spikes at the tips in yellow, even though the rest are usually in silver. So great to see some change here, of course. And as the arms of which have the uh, size 3 armor piece in dark blue, like what Aquagon also had. And also the trans yellow one as well, like what Toxic Reaper uh, in Breakout also had. And as for his the weapon here, which 
as you can see. Which is kind of a bit like Surge's weapon in both uh, both 1.0 and Breakout, of course, with the electricity theme to him. But it also does have that little piece there, which has been featured in a few other sets as well. <coughs> and also has these like pieces that were on a couple of, uh, or flame pieces on that were on a few other sets, but in like blue, green, and yellow mixed together, of course, which also used on the Protector of Jungle in Generation 2 Bonacle, of course, and just like with Pyrox and all, and like twisted it that way, twisted around, of course. And onto the other armor, which uh, nothing not at all like much, but Scout Drone, just like what uh, Stormer XL from the last or from the year prior also had, but yeah. And now, onto the head part of Surge. Well, headpiece is in trans yellow, as common as usual part of Surge, of course. And also, one of the only other ones to have that. And since Verno XL also did. And the helmet piece of which, quite similar to that of Surge uh, 1.0 Breakout's helmet, but without the extended bit to it. And of course, to fit the visor over it. And the visor this time in trans yellow with some printing to it. Similar to that of Stormer and Inferno XL's ones, of course. And on the back of which is another one of the 2.0 uh, shield pieces, like what Stormer XL or Stormer of the wave, this wave also had, and also got those like couple blade pieces that Inferno XL had for a shield, but on him used as wings. Which you can like extend up, of course, and also have the lightsaber rock pieces in trans yellow, of course. But although in the Nick episode that he was attacked by a bunch of brain bugs and it didn't work on him, or they shorted it out, of course. But if, but of course, you can like use your imagination for that, and also can, like shoot the missile, put pump and fire missiles out like so. And uh, what else is there? I think that is it with Surge, of course. And now to what some consider as the main villain of Brain, of Brain Attack, or actually rather the largest villain of Brain Attack, is Dragabolt. Well, quite large and also quite cool as well. Which, as you can see, so plenty of good bit of stuff to him, which and of course as we've seen a lot of dragons in Lego before, but at least first time seeing this in like CCBS and or Bonacle Hero Factory forms, which quite different and neat to have and yeah. So now for the legs of which all quite the same with like all black paraka feet of course and size 5 armor pieces it's with a yellow spike piece on it and but the front limbs of which do have uh, friction joints added to them and it's all built on the extra large torso piece of course just like we've seen on a few other sets and as for the tail of which see very few extra armor bits to it and also, up here is <coughs> another couple of those pieces used from like Speed of Demon and Stormer XL from Breakout Wave 2 also did. Probably to add some extra bits to it. And also have one of those like add on pieces from Savage Planet, of course, but although it would have been nice if they were added on to there as well, but. It would probably interfere with the 
motion of the wings, but but as for the tail of which, I think it would be much better if it had an extra couple limb pieces added to it, since in the special in the Nickelodeon special of which, it's very long, of course, and of course leading up to a hordy neck piece holding these holding on these couple of spike pieces in yellow great for mocking and of course also had on aquagon of course <clears throat> and as for the uh, head neck area for his long neck is mostly made of like the small torso piece like we've also seen on XT4 in year prior, of course. And of course, seen on all of the protectors and some of the element creatures in Generation 2 Bonacle, of course. <clears throat> Into this upper area. Which, as you can see, about how the head's made is a few uh, Technic bits holding a hero foot piece and a coat hanger piece with the teeth on it, of course. And also on the sides are those like smaller versions of the like lightning bolt or, or I mean electric shooter things. Just like what Speed of Demon also had. <clears throat> and as for the uh, main head part of which, done quite goodly. Great texture, great sculpt added to it. And of course, and unlike with all the other uh, villain sets, it's actually placed as upwards instead of like forwards, of course. But yeah, great to see that there. And also, do get, and also, he was there's his brain bug, and see, it's mixed of like trans blue and trans uh, green, of course, and he spikes and eye pieces. Just about. Or which all glow in the dark. Whereas all the other uh, heroes or the other brains of the wave, of course, of which were all mostly red, of course, and especially the black one that came in a poly bag, of course, at least. Still quite glowing after quite so long, but yeah. So he's quite unique, you know. So it's good that he there was some unique stuff to him uh, for this wave make this wave more exciting and all and yeah. And of course in there is another one of the head pieces as all the sets of the year this year also had, but yeah. And another couple of spike pieces as well. And the most impressive, interesting part are the wings. Which, as you see, does have the Savage Planet uh, blade pieces, but in blue. Oh, which also nice to have for Mach King. And a lot of those pieces as well, of course. And the Chima spike piece, but in black for that. And also the main wings made of the these Ninjago katanas which not sure these are gold or in yellow actually more yellow to say in which do come in and out of course which as I zoom out and what the red system bit there is for is a button for pressing and makes the wings flap up and down of which Quite fun and well effective. So probably so you can have them go go up against like Bolt Surge and Rocket XL next next throwback Thursdays, of course. And also one great thing is the like Technic pin in there to hold the chest plate in in, in place, so you don't have to worry about it uh, falling off, of course. But yeah.
for my overall work is I think these of which are quite cool sets for the time, like at least a lot more color vibrant and other than, well, in Serge's case, is the chest plate clamps a little different than quite nice than the other hero sets and Dragon Ball of which a few more uh, unique techniques than most some of the other villains of the year also have but yeah so these two of which great to see some little different stuff going on with them like sort of both of their wings and whatnot and also the like color schemes of course and yeah so and of course, and of course, this would similar to Inferno Excel and Pyrox, but except the hero and villains have like traded places, of course. But yeah, and whereas Dragon Bolt's Rainbow piece, it would be quite great to see something a little different. Although it would have been nice to see glow in the dark bits on some other sets of which, but maybe that's just me. But yeah, and if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.